Which brings me to the developing economies. Um, as I've already said that um, the majority of these larger developing economies have indeed been able to actually moderate the slowdown and start actually stabilizing um, their economic growth. A quick note, or let me start by talking about Africa. Um, Africa, the prospects for economic growth in Africa is still very robust. So economic growth is expected to accelerate from 4% 2013 to 4.7%, that's on average, uh, and then also to above 5% later on to following 2000, uh, from 2015 onwards. It has to be said though that economic growth in Africa is highly dependent on one, what to the extent that the global economy will indeed follow through on their economic growth through and that then translate through trade and investment channels into sustainable economic growth in Africa. Secondly, the economic growth in Africa as we all know is highly dependent on the trend in commodity prices. We have seen a slowdown, a moderation in commodity prices, but at this point in time, the prospects are, and I don't, uh, it's almost neutral in the sense that the prospects for commodity prices are that there's a moderation and a stabilization in commodity prices, which is both positive for the, for the, exporter, uh, the exporter countries, but also to some extent, um, has got some sta uh, um, less volatility prospects for the importer countries uh, in the region altogether. And then it has to be noted, the successes and the gains from a recovery in the world economy is always dependent on the ability of African economies to maintain fiscal monetary prudence and to enhance the stability through the economic governance and management. And then, at a later stage, I will highlight this once again, the question that we really need to ask one another, another, and I'm just leaving the question out there, to what extent has African economies actually been able to benefit and to capitalize from the boost in capital flows following the, the, the financial recession or in the aftermath of the financial session and make that part of a structural economic recovery in the region altogether.